Dan Snyder, the owner of the Redskins, a football team here in the U.S., uh, has refused to change the name of the team, even though many people find it controversial and also very insulting to the Native American community. Well, it's okay. You shouldn't think for a second that he's trying to be discriminatory or, or negative toward Native Americans because he was recently at a Redskins game with the Navajo president, Ben Shelley. Now, he will only be uh, the president uh, up until January. He was not reelected, but I just find it so interesting to see him sitting there with his wife, with Dan Snyder, who of course is getting a lot of criticism for refusing to change the name of the team. So I saw that live. I was watching that game, and I saw it, and I, I swear to God, I immediately thought two things. One is, somebody's getting paid. <laughs> okay, no way you got the Navajo president sitting there with a Redskins hat on unless there's money involved. And so, of course, it turns out uh, Shelley was there to support a franchising agreement in which Snyder agreed to sell Navajo art and crafts at FedEx Field, where Washington plays. So okay. I feel as though that second part is actually even more insulting, mm -hmm. right? It's like, we're still gonna refer to our team as the Redskins, but we're gonna sell some of your arts and crafts. And we're going to sit next to your former, pre soon to be former president. Yeah. Shut up. Okay. It's like saying, yeah, we called our team the N word. Okay, we're the N words, but that's all right because at the stadium we're going to sell fried chicken and watermelon. Oh, oh, you're kidding me, right? Yeah. Now it's not a perfect an analogy right. because the Navajo arts and crafts are not offensive or not part of a stereotype, etc. But it, it's it, it doesn't make the situation any better. Yeah. Okay. And then the second thing I thought when I saw him, and I swear that it, these are the th thoughts that went through my head, I almost called Ben about it, was uh, that guy's not in power anymore. Yeah. Okay, because no way you're the, and they said in the game that he was the uh, president of the Navajo Nation. I was thinking, really? Because you're not going to be the president much longer if you're sitting there with a Redskins hat on. Like, I don't care who gets to sell arts and crafts and who gets rich off of it, I guarantee you that couple has a portion of that pie. Mm -hmm. I, look, I don't have documents and tax records to prove that. I just want to be clear about that. It's speculation. But I would be shocked if they didn't have a piece of the pie of what gets sold at FedEx Field or were not involved somehow. But even if a bunch of people were going to get rich off this deal, mm -hmm. right, that we're in Navajo Nation, overall people aren't going to vote for a guy going, yeah, I'm a Redskin. I'm sitting here with Snyder selling out. Yeah, so that's it turns out he change. lost, he's not going to be president, so he figures, let me take some money on the way up. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, And also, I, I mean, I don't know if the, of course there's the financial element of it, but I, there's the PR element of it as well. I don't know if anyone actually thought that this was going to lead to favorable PR. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh, it's, they just, did. Oh, it's yeah, such yeah. a slap in the face to Native Americans. I don't no, know. I, I know, it's like, it's almost like, here are my hostages, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I made them wear my paraphernalia. And look, it's okay. They, they're, you know, doing all the things I told them to do. I it's, mean, it just it, feels you can kind of sick inside, right? Yeah. And, and look, the old arguments about whether it should be Redskins or not, I thought was definitively settled when they asked Redskins supporters. It was a great video, uh, and they would bring a Native American, and it's like, okay, call him a Redskin, and they'd be like, uh, uh, <laughs> and they couldn't call him a Redskin because it's offensive. Yeah. And you have these two guys saying, no, it's okay, Navajo Nation says, oh, yeah, Redskins. I'm surprised like, they didn't go out there and do like some offensive like rain dance or something like that. It's like saying, I'm not racist, some of my best friends are black, or my best friend is black. Some of the people I gave contracts to yesterday are black, so it's okay. Just change <laughs> the name of your team. Why is it so difficult? I don't really, and I get it, there's a branding issue. I understand that when you change the name of something, you lose some revenue, right? Mm -hmm. But whatever, you're going to be fine. Every Everything's going to be fine. People aren't going to magically forget the football team because you're going to change its name. You'll sell a whole new set of jerseys, okay? And if you want, make some of them Navajo jerseys, okay? But just get beyond this. This didn't help at all. It just makes you look like an ass. It look, makes everybody involved look like an ass. Yeah.